Now, let us make our goal program of project five, that is cryptoanalysis.rb. In fact, we have again its template in this directory proj5. So let us see this first. Start code editor and then open home icon and double click CS, double click project five and then double click this. Okay, this is the current version of the of crypt analysis.rb. Okay. Um, well, I have already prepared the part that we have studied before. So for example, uh, this is the definition. Uh, these are definition of uh, these lines are uh, definition of uh, function deck from here to up to this point to end, okay? So this is the definition of the function deck, okay? And then so the actual computation of this program starts from here. We first read in a ciphertext that is stored uh, in the variable ciphertext, okay? Then here uh, is the part we should consider. This is the part we should consider. That is the computation of the shift number K. Then after finding this number, we can use, uh, we use uh, the de decryption subroutine uh, to compute the plain text from the ciphertext by using subroutine deck uh, for decoding with the obtained shift number K. Now let us complete this part. For this, ref refer the count.rb that we created in the last problem. Okay. So new window and then open count.rb. Okay. This counts the frequency of each letter in the variable ciphertext and uh, shows the index of the most frequent letter. Let us again execute it. For this, activate terminal and go to the room for the project five. And then ls. Well, we have uh, an English text in this uh, file, message.txt. Let's see it, cat message dot txt okay this is an english uh, text and then we can count the frequency t message dot txt so the letter with distance four that is the letter e occurs the most 13 times okay uh, recall uh, that this folder contains the uh, challenge ciphertext, which is ex.txt. Let's see it. Cat ex.txt. Okay, this looks like a ciphertext. Let's also count the frequency in this uh, text. Ruby count.rb and then this time from ex.txt. Okay. You see, uh, this time the letter with index, uh, this is 13, okay, uh, occurs 154 times, which is the uh, maximum, okay? Then it is likely that this letter with distance 13 is the result of applying the shift to the letter E of distance four. So how many shifts have been made? Now, did you get it? Yes? Four becomes 13, right? So 13 minus four, nine. Nine shifts have been applied to E and then each character of the original text to get this cipher text. That is K must be nine. Well, let us tentatively use this number here to define K. Guess that K is equal to nine. Let me use uh, this number here. 
Okay, this is a guess number, k, I'm sorry, k is equal to 9, okay? Uh, and then execute this program. Save it. Okay, and then Ruby. You see, um, we could get an English text. Okay, looks like this is English text. So uh, this must be the original plain text. This verifies the correctness of our argument. That is, uh, this guest shift value, okay, number is correct. So let us embed the computation of count.rb, this computation here to get this k, okay? So, okay, so let's compute the k by embedding this number, okay? So these two statements are not necessary, so we start from here. So let me go through this. Then after reading cipher text, uh, the, this part computes the most frequent uh, letter appearing in the cipher text. And then maybe we don't need this. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. There is uh, this part. This part is important. Okay. Copy. So this is only count for counting the frequency, and then we should uh, compute uh, the most frequent uh, letter. The its index. Okay. Right. So the most frequent letter uh, is computed at this max underscore dist. And so then as we discussed, the, uh, the correct value of shift number k should be max underscore dist minus uh, 4, the distance of the alphabet E. So is shifted to this number, right? Okay, now let me check whether this works. Okay, so save it. And then, okay, Ruby, Ruby, dot rb, and then ex dot txt. Okay, this time, uh, instead of computing, uh, putting k, uh, guessing k is equal to 9, we compute uh, the value of k in this way. Okay? Let's execute it. Then, then again, uh, we seems like we have uh, obtained the same English text. Okay? And by the way, uh, the program reports that uh, uh, the max dist is 13 for this uh, uh, cipher text, okay? Let's try one more example. Well, you remember that we also created uh, cipher text c.txt, okay? Uh, from the message, this message, in the previous exercise. Actually, I forgot the, this shift number, so why don't we use our uh, cryptanalysis.rb, okay? to get that number. Okay, Ruby, Ruby, Anna, this, this, dot, rb, and then read this 
ciphertext. Again, uh, we got this English text, which is uh, the message, original message. And then see, the most frequent letter has index 11. Okay? So 11 minus 4, 7, was the shift number for creating this cipher text. Let's check whether 7 is correct or not by looking at the program enc.rb. Okay. Let's look at the program. Encryption encrypt.rb. Okay. All right. Here we set k is equal to seven. Okay. So we are using a seven for encryption. So this computation of getting seven, this computation of getting seven was correct. Okay, eleven minus four is seven is correct. So our program cryptanalysis.rb correctly gets this shift number. By the way, it may be the case where max underscore this is smaller than four. In this case, we would have a negative number for k because uh, k is obtained by max underscore this minus four. Well, fortunately, even in this case, the program works correctly. Please check it by yourself. Also, let me leave a question why a negative shift number is also okay. Please consider it again by yourself. With this, uh, let me conclude this programming session and the all programming sessions. I hope you enjoyed programming.